What's up everyone? Today we're going to be working on a song called Never Lost by Elevation Worship and this is the live version with Torrin Wells in the key of B. Now they also did a studio version of this song but I really like the live version and so we're going to cover that one today. So this is in the key of B and then it modulates to C. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play it for you and then we'll go back and we'll break it down. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six.
All right, so let's go ahead and start with the intro and we'll break this song down. So it's in the key of B. Okay, so it does this melody at the beginning. So the melody, D sharp, E, F sharp, E, and then back to D sharp. But I'm doing some chords with that, right? So the melody, uh, it's like an A over B, E over B, the bass is pedal point, which means it's just hanging out on that B while the chords are changing on top. sharp over A sharp, G sharp minor, E major 7, and this little walk down. So D sharp, C sharp, B, this is the melody. pre-chorus, B over C sharp, B over D sharp, E major 9, same thing, then we're into the, we're into the chorus. So uh, the B over C sharp minor, it's basically a C sharp minor 11. You could also play it like this. And that would be a C sharp minor nine. So whichever way you want to play that C sharp minor chord, either a minor nine or a B over C sharp, which is like a minor eleven. And then, then it goes into the chorus. So you start with a B. Then you're on an A sharp diminished. C sharp minor. F sharp minor, B, E, B over D sharp, this, the walk up there is C sharp minor, B over D sharp, E, F sharp, but in my right hand I'm playing the melody. Kind of put those together. Then we're back to the interlude. And I'll play the second verse with the track because we have this melody on top. Here we go. Basically, there are two piano parts on this verse. There's one that's uh, a little bit lower. But then there's this melody that's doing this pretty much the whole time. So what I did is kind of combine them. I moved the chord up a little higher on my left hand. And then I'm still doing the right hand part. time it does this over when it's on the F sharp it does a, a cut and then the, the melody walks up B C sharp D sharp and then it hesitates and then the comes in on the G sharp minor and then the again and then the walk up and it's, it's still it's it's actually doing this on the pre-chorus and it's pretty much the same thing. The only difference in this course is the second time through it, instead of just hanging on the seven chord, seven diminished, 
it's gonna do a seven, three, six. So. This is an E flat, sharp five, sharp nine. So E flat, D flat, G, B, D flat, and then G flat. Okay, so seven, three, sharp five, sharp nine, six, minor seven. So then you have the typical minor five, one, to the four. Walk up. seven or major nine. And then it goes into the key of C for the key change. And the key change there follows the melody. Okay, and let's play a little bit of that. Key change up. Break. Key change. Chorus. The key of C, B diminished, A minor, G minor, C, F, C over E, D minor, C over E, F, G, do we cut. And for this part, we're gonna do, we're in the key of C, so it's all white notes. Here we go. C, F. C over E. D minor. C over E, F, G. Same thing, different inversions. I actually added a little chord in there. Um, they didn't necessarily do it in this song, but it's something that happens at the the very last time you walk up. F, G, and then I added this little embellishment. So it's like an A sharp five sharp nine. So A E G C sharp F G C. So I know. adds a little extra flavor and then we're into the interlude which is like the intro except in the key of C now so pedal point on C the chords B flat over C F over C repeat So then it goes into a little bit more of a gospel progression for this last part. So it's a C7 over E, F9, F sharp diminished, C over G. The second time's a little different. C7 over E, F9, D7, G11, or F over G. repeats and repeats then the last one is a little different okay so the last one it does that like two times uh, basically or I guess you could say four times it depends on how you're counting it and then we have a pedal point again so this next one uh, we're changing the progression a little bit we're pedal point over C so it starts on a C F C diminished F
that part at the end. Uh, it just makes it a little bit more interesting than the album version or the studio version doesn't have the outro like the live version does. So I wanted to break down the live version because there's just a little bit more interesting things going on in this song. If you like this video, smash that like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you see my new content. I'm releasing new videos every Friday, so stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next one.